All right, this morning we're talking about why it sucks becoming an artist. Yeah, got to talk about it because it does, it hurts. <laughs> hey, good morning, folks. Good to see you out here. Good morning, lovely people of the planet. This is Jeffo. This is the, <clears throat> excuse me. <coughs> Goodness gracious, excuse me. This is Jeffo. This is the Morning Ride Pell Powered Podcast. I'm just a dude on a bicycle working to evolve as a filmmaker, poet, and human being. I appreciate you being here with me to discuss the evolution and transition to becoming an artist. I really appreciate it. So today, I wanted to talk a little bit about why it sucks becoming an artist. It's gonna be a short one. So, about two and a half years ago, I really decided, you know, it's time I learn something about photography. Because I wasn't even basic two and a half years ago, or I was very basic. Videography, I was getting pretty de decent at, but photography was something else altogether. I just didn't get it. It was a different thing for me. To capture a captivating image that's a still image. And so what I did is I bought a camera, of course, because that's what you do first, you know, the easy parts. Uh, got that Canon uh, 80D, love that guy. Really great for multimedia, video and photography. Love that about that camera. But then I realized I wasn't getting any better because I hadn't made a deal with anyone. So I kind of made a deal with myself. It's like I have to post at least one photo a day and it was kind of one of those 365, you know, days a year kind of deal. But I had to post a photo a day uh, through the week, maybe not on the weekends so much. And uh, the painful part of it was that those first photos were really, really bad. The composition was bad, the exposure was bad. Actually, I was still shooting on auto at that time. So um, I wasn't getting, I wasn't taking control of the image, I was letting the camera do that, which is a great place to start, of course. But the painful part was, is that I had to put out, what I'm gonna call art, craft anyway, I had to put out craft that wasn't mature yet. I had to put that out in the world. Now, the same thing happened when I started taking poetry classes and starting writing poems. I was in a poetry class at Arkansas Tech University and uh, we were required to bring in work every week. And we had to read it in class in front of other people. And uh, that was really scary because they weren't great poems yet. And, we, and I knew that my poems weren't all that great yet. <laughs> Don't take that path. It goes to the river. Kayakers only. But the... <clears throat> Yummy bugs. Um, but the thing is, folks, is that in order to become an artist, you have to put the work out there. And this has been really jamming me up on the film project. For one, I don't want my first film, first feature film to totally suck. I've done one, uh, I got short film. It's about the chickens and the ducks in the Beulah Valley. That was kind of a challenge. Uh, everyone else was working one Thanksgiving and I was kind of looking for something to do. Oh, there goes the blue heron. Can you see that guy? Look at that. And I was looking for something to do. Yeah, I took the wrong trail, didn't I? Where are we? Good grief. <laughs> I'm still not used to this new park. All these trails coming in. It's so exciting. All this great stuff over here. But basically, you have to put out work that isn't that great. Now, I gave myself a time limit on that project. It was like, I've got two days and it was a stop motion uh, short film. It was supposed to be five parts. I didn't realize how long stop motion took. So it ended up being like one and a half parts. Um, but I knew the beginning and end, so we got the beginning and end. We just didn't get all the cool stuff in the middle. So my only point is, and this is to remind myself, basically folks, this is not preaching to you at all. This is just, I gotta put out some short films because I really, really wanna do this feature film about this Lisbeth girl learning to play cello or reconnecting with her cello. 
really, really want to do that film, but I got to get some work out. So I may be calling on some of you sometime in the near future to help me with that project because the thing about filmmaking that I'm super excited about, I mean, the thing that I love, I think the most about the idea of filmmaking is that um, it requires other people and uh, I'm going to have to get a team together and <clears throat> excuse me, I'm all froggy this morning for some reason. Well, I've been kind of stopped up. I think it's starting to kind of be allergy season here in Idaho. Hey, here's the new Whitewater Park. Yeah, there you go. It's kind of cool, ain't it? <clears throat> well, folks, that's it for me today. Just wanted to remind myself that, hey man, you gotta start putting some stuff out in public and it's not gonna be mature, it's not gonna be great. It may not be in my voice yet. Um, as I'm working to become a better filmmaker, I'm probably gonna, um, it's probably gonna take me a while to get to that point. Uh-oh, we got some noise coming up. It's probably gonna take me a bit to get to the point where I am, I have found my own voice with filmmaking and uh, able to make films that are distinctly mine. Um, I'm gonna go and rewatch that Chantel Martin video about make and share, make and share, make and share, because that's kind of where I am. I need to go out and I need to make and share and I need to make and share and I need to put out some crappy short films in order to make a better feature film. So this is just a reminder to myself Hope it uh, inspires you at all, no matter what your work is, no matter what your ride is. Um, if you love riding a bicycle, get out on a bicycle, whatever it is, um, and uh, get out and do the thing, because the sooner you start doing the thing, the sooner we're all going to have elevated art to share. And I'm excited about that moment. I'm excited about seeing your art. I'm excited about hearing about your ride. Um, hit me up on Instagram and Twitter at Morning Ride Pod. <laughs> I know it's horrible, it's horrible. Uh, but hit me up on those uh, channels. I'd really love to hear about your ride, see what you're doing, hear what you're doing. Um, folks, it's the only ride we get. I'm so grateful to be on this ride with you. Have a great weekend. See you Monday.